Okay, we're going to write a program to for a pizza shop. And we're gonna have a radio group where you can choose your uh, size of the pizza. Then we're gonna have some check boxes where we can um, choose toppings for the pizza. And then we're gonna ask the user to enter an amount that he needs to pay for the pizza and then he's gonna either tell him that he can get some change or that he doesn't have enough money uh, we're also gonna load in a picture just to make the program more neatly or look better so let's start off with the image I already downloaded a picture of a pizza it is saved in the same folder as my program so let me just save my program quickly pizza shop going to go to picture and load my pizza to jpg okay I'm going to change the property stretch to true. There's my pizza. I'm going to change the caption of my form. I got one pizza. Something like pizza shop. And I'm going to add a radio group. Okay, this will be the size of the pizza. The radio group works of uh, items. So let's make it small. Small pizza can be something like 15 rand. Medium. Make it 20 rand. Large. Make it large. The five friend. Okay. Let's add a few check boxes for the toppings. Check box one. And the cheese. Cheese. Additional tea. cheese will cost you five rand. Caption of the second checkbox, let's make this one bacon. Bacon, make that one seven rand. Okay, then I'm gonna add a button. Make the button pay. So you click on the button, then you must enter the amount into an in input box that you need to pay okay so the user is first going to select the size of the pizza then the toppings then click on pay okay, so this is going to work with numbers so i'm going to declare variable r total global variable r total let's make it a real variable And when I walk into the shop, I want to set it to zero. So when you get your form activated, you set the R total is equal to, to zero. Okay, so when the person click on the spy button, I'm going to check which value did it select in the radio group. So it's radio group dot item index. If the first one is selected in the item index, the item index will be zero. So I'm gonna say if radio group item index is equal to zero, then I want to add 15 rand to my total. So I'm gonna say R total is equal to R total. 
which will be zero at this moment, plus 15. And I'm going to do this for the medium and the large feature. So medium item index will be one. For the large the item index will be two. If none of them are selected, the item index will be minus one. Okay, so remember, item index will be minus one if nothing is selected. Okay, so I'm going to add not 15 rand, I'm going to add 15 for the small, 20 rand for the medium, and I'm going to add 25 rand. for the large pizza. Okay, now then I'm going to check for the toppings. Okay, I'm just going to add comment here, this is for toppings. This one will be for my size of the pizza. So, toppings, I'm going to use if statement, if to check box one dot checked this is the cheese one if that is equals to true then begin end I'm gonna add five rand to the total so I'm gonna say our total plus five rand Again, I'm going to be lazy, I'm just going to copy and paste in checkbox 2. That means the bacon is selected. So I'm going to add 7 rand to my tag. Okay. Okay, let's test this quickly and use the show message. Check the value my R total. If I run it now, I'm going to get a syntax error. Incompatible types, string and real. So I need to convert this. Remember everything that we display, all output will be in string format. So I need to convert this from a float to a string. Okay, so this should be 20 rand. Okay, so it's 20. So it's calculating correctly. So I'm just going to comment this one out for now. So when it clicks on the display button, I want him to pop up an input box. Input box has three parameters. And it's also going to return a value. So it's a function, it's going to return a value. And I'm going to make a variable to receive that value of amount. I'm going to say or amount input box. Okay, so the first one will be the heading. Let's just make it fit so. Then the question uh, amount you want to pay. Let's make a default value, maybe zero. Let's make it zero. Okay, this input box will return a string value. Our amount is a real value. So we need to convert this whole value that's going to be returned. We need to convert it from a string to a float. Okay. Test it. Oh, geez. Click. Okay, there's the heading. There's the question. How much money do you want to pay? Default values 100, ach, zero. Enter something there. And now it's saved in our amount. Okay, so it looks good. And now I want to check whether that money is enough. So I'm going to use an if statement again. If the amount that the guy is paying 
is smaller than the amount that is actually owing, then I want to display a message dialog. Message DLG. I'm gonna make a nice message. You do not have enough money. The message type empty message type will be let's make it information only buttons that I want to display message buttons will be okay okay so let's test it again so now I owe 20 rent um, let's just enter the value 10 you do not have enough money which is correct you can let's have it into 40 it should be enough i will not get that message dialog okay so i'm going to add else so i'm uh, going to remove the semicolon in front of my else so it's begin and now i want to say our amount minus the amount that's owed. So let's make another variable or change. The change that we are going to receive. So the change is equals the amount the guy is paying minus the total. Okay. Then we can display a message. Message dialog telling the guy, thank you, thank you, you get a certain amount of money back or change. Back. Oh, anything that you want. Thank you, thank you. You get this amount. But remember, this is a real, this is a string, this is a string. Everything that we display is strings. So we need to convert this one from a real or a float to a string. Float. Right, so 15, 20 rand. We're gonna enter 30 rand. Thank you. You get 10 back. Okay, so I can still change this 10 maybe. Maybe I can make it fancy. A little bit fancier. Flow to shrink F. Or flow to shrink function. I'm going to make it FF currency so that it will display in a currency format for me. Thirty rand. Thank you. You get ten rand back, and it's still an information message being displayed. Okay, let's just add. Maybe a little bitmap button just to set everything back. To retry. Okay, so if I want to set something back, the default value for the radio group was minus one, then nothing is selected. And I can maybe uncheck my checkboxes in case anything was checked in this program. Set it to false so it's empty. And I think most important to just make sure that your total is set to zero. Okay, so you can just set all the stuff back to zero. And then the guy can retry. It's 
small cheese retry it's smaller okay maybe another thing that you can add it's making when you select your small medium of large size in the radio group you can make it maybe make the actual size of the pizza bigger when it's a large pizza and maybe a little bit smaller when it's a small pizza okay if you want to do that you can just sit go to your radio group on click of the radio group then you can set the size of the image and again maybe say if it's still the top one again If the radio group item index is zero, that means it's a small pizza. You change the current or you change the size, um, the height. Something actually a little bit smaller. So you can check the height here, it's 73. You can maybe set it to 60, and you can maybe set the width also a little bit smaller. Okay. and when it's a medium pizza you can set it to a size a little bit bigger or when it's a large pizza you can make it even bigger than that okay. this is just a basic little pizza shop